Welcome to Danimal's House, everyone. Today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat with the 5.0 Coyote engine. I put on an aftermarket exhaust, the Flowmaster Super HP, and I want to talk a little bit about cylinder deactivation and something you definitely have to consider if you're thinking about putting an aftermarket exhaust on your new F-150. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, so I learned this fact uh, accidentally. I kind of watched, I watched a YouTube video, uh, I think outdoor, I don't even remember even the creator, but he kind of talked about how all you gotta do to get rid of cylinder deactivation on a Ford F-150 is go up by the battery and take one of the little uh, wires off of the battery and then that is supposed to deactivate the electric uh, electronic monitoring or battery system monitoring and then that's supposed to kill the cylinder deactivation. Well, I thought that was awesome. Thank you, YouTube, except it doesn't work. Uh, the only way I can get this thing to not go into cylinder deactivation is by running in tow haul mode or sport mode. And if you're doing either one of those, you're gonna kill your gas mileage and the normal everyday driving is really not practical and you're wasting way too much money in comparison to the extra, you know, the coolness you get from the sound that you like. So. Basically, the whole concept of cylinder deactivation is kind of by federal guidelines for kind of needs to do it. But what happens is when your engine is under a really light load, it's going to take some of the cylinders and shut them off. Well, we're in the vehicle right now and I'm going like 45 and the engine's still, it's still not in deactivation yet. And right about there, okay, I'm in cylinder deactivation right now. The exhaust sounds absolutely awful. It's like you've got a tin can over the top of your exhaust. And then as soon as I step on the gas a little bit, the cylinders activate and it comes right back to normal. So if you're gonna put on a aftermarket exhaust, uh, you have to know this. I really wish I would have known that and because now what I'm understanding is that I either need to go a whole lifetime of the truck having horrible gas mileage uh, I mean I'll probably lose two or three miles a gallon going in sport mode all the time and uh, the other option would be to go back to the factory exhaust and then the other option would be to spend 800 bucks um, to have the thing tuned and then in the tuning kit they can take that cylinder deactivation out so um, anyway ooh, there it went real loud I don't know if you can hear that but um, it's just completely unacceptable so uh, hopefully I helped you out here. Uh, if you liked the episode, please click. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next episode of The Animal's House.